Hey, my earth signs, my Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. How are ya? You doing all right? I am happy that you're doing okay. Hey, this is Sarah Bay here with Flirt and Savage Spirit. Just going to do an energy update. Just see what comes out um, for you guys. What's going down? What's going on? What's your life look like? You know what I'm saying? What that mirror look like? Do we need to clean it? So, let's see. My air signs. High Priestess of Water. My fire signs got this as their first card as well. Forbidden is here. And then we have Focus. Number 17. Okay. I feel like this is water, this is earth, and then this is fire um, that's here. So everything right here is missing except... Uh, you know, and as I say that fire comes out on in the bottom with honesty. So definitely if there's a presence of a fire sign that's in your life one way or the other, it seems like that this reading may have some importance for you. Um, with the high priestess of water, I feel like that this is all about getting in tune again with your emotions, you know, trying to follow your um, intuition about like your emotions, like how you should actually feel about something. I also kind of feel like with this forbidden card that's here, it may be that um yeah because this is this is for some reason the like i just get the hair font like a religious type of of teaching or something of the sort so it's like you may be trying to balance um a situation of that it's someone who you are thinking about or that you are feeling some type of emotions about um that you probably shouldn't feel this way about this particular person you know maybe that it's because you know that's your cousin's girl or boy or you know your, or your homeboy's ex-girlfriend or something that's sort of like I just feel like this is this could perhaps be for a lot of you or some of you air signs somebody that you like aren't supposed to be with like this is somebody that you are forbidden to be with um god forbid i hope that it's nothing that is you know having to do with any children because I 100% forbid you <laughs> or whatnot like I'm and I laugh just to kind of lighten the mood you know but if that hurts your feelings that hurts your feelings and um it is what it is but uh, hopefully that is is more so of like that forbidden love could be like different religions different ethnic ethnicities or you know someone else they dated somebody or you dated somebody in the past and maybe hopefully that that is the reason why this this love may be forbidden as here is definitely telling you to put your focus where it's supposed to go though so if this um person that may be forbidden for you it's like try to balance out your emotions and to focus on like maybe why is it that this person you are attracted to this person or you feel like that y'all would click and you would want to and and maybe especially if it's having to do with ethnicity or religious differences or something of the sort that maybe you guys could actually make this thing work or go public if you just put the right focus on it for other people that that may not be your storyline i feel like that this is more so of you feeling like love right now may just be forbidden for you like there's other places that you need to put your focus but maybe somebody has recently come in to your life or that you have connected with that's making you feel like that you you know want to put that to the side and maybe explore love or maybe you just always thought that maybe like love wasn't going to be for you um and so you know you've just placed your focus into other things but you secretly you secretly do want love or the person that you are wanting is telling you that, you know, that they need to put their focus somewhere else and not on this love or this emotion that you that right now, that's not the right time or the place in their life. But secretly, they, they do want to be with you. Let's get more information here with this for show me clarity about this high priestess of water. Why is high priestess of water showing here? Let's see. We have the Knight of Cups. Oh, so more of that water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, um, being very dreamy and in love. Uh, that's here, like wanting to do those shiverish type of things, like take you on a picnic, buy you flowers, establish a home with you, some type of legacy, Ten of Pentacles, have that um, work, you know, like that biz business life with you, create a business, create an empire with you, like that hopeless kind of romantic-ish type of feel that's here 
oh my God, three of ones is here. So like having that expectations, having that desire, you know, that, that being that thing that someone is definitely waiting on over here, uh, wanting to, to, to take that leap, you know, waiting for their ships perhaps to come in so they could, you know, sweep you off their feet. I feel like someone is also wanting to purchase somebody's a home or something like big, like this big gesture, but they're just waiting for that day or either this could not be about a romantic relationship. This could probably could possibly be like a family, like you're hoping and waiting your super, your secret desires in life is to be able to buy your mom or your parents or your dad or somebody that was there for you, like a home, a house or um, something for their house, chandeliers for their house or something. And you're just waiting for that opportunity to come up for you to be able to do that. Um, definitely an expectation of happy home is here or longevity in your home is here. So then show us why forbidden is here then spirit. Why is forbidden here? Temperance, Sagittarius energy, um, conflict resolution, finding peace, finding balance um, that's here angels guiding you and directing you to to where it is that you are supposed to go Whew, the ace of swords a new beginning a new opportunity um maybe even like in the legal field i was feeling like a lawyer type of situation too before so if you're dealing with somebody that's in law school or something of the sort and that's the reason and they're using it as the reason why they want to connect or either you're in law school and you're like i need to be focused on these here essays and not you know, something else, this could be about you as well. Because there seems to be like a balance or some type of resolution that comes to some type of thought that was originally had. And maybe that thought was something of where something wasn't for you, but there's, there's, there's a revisiting because six of swords is here in reverse. This is all about your thoughts. This is a revisiting of that thought process, something that you or somebody originally thought that was a no for you, that was a closed door. There is a new beginning, a new opportunity that's being here. Some type of resolution is being given to the reason why we couldn't get this door open before or we couldn't open that door before. It's like, boom, temperance. We got that key. Open it. <laughs> Love you a long time. Let's get this popping. Let's get this house going. Let's get this longevity. Let me go buy you some flowers because that's what I want from you. And just get epiphanies that, that's, that's getting ready that is currently happening or getting ready to happen of you know in epiphanies and clarity about what really was behind the closed door and you being okay with taking what what's behind door number three or door number two in this particular situation show me more of why why is focus here for my gemini libra and aquarius show me why focus is here Okay, six and pentacles. Um, again, that's more of that legal ish type of situation. If you're going through a legal situation, it seems like that is definitely going to turn out in your favor. Um, eight of pentacles, something that you were being overly, your focus was, it was, I just feel like with this eight of pentacles in reverse, this is more so saying like that you were hyper focused on something um, of what was being given and what was being taken in this situation. Or maybe perhaps before you were really tight on money, but with this, this 10 of pentacles and you following your intuition, you know, maybe going to the store and buying that ticket or when you got out at the mall, it, some said, look down and it was like a bag full of money. I don't know. Um, something that came about that ends up giving you what it is that you were stressing out about. Something that you couldn't feel like that you could make happen like before that there is some type of resolution that comes to that particular situation. So something that you were, you were hyper intense about or putting a lot of focus on something or was in deep con concentration or thought process about something, it's like a balance comes to that. What's this pentacle in the temperance here? A balance comes to that and it, it relieves a lot of that overthinking or that you trying to manifest something or you know exactly what to manifest and if this door is closed with this forbidden um card that's here if that door is closed then you know to stop trying to manifest this because that's not going to happen let me focus on something that is going to happen 
So I feel like right now your energy air signs is getting clarity about where you should put your manifestation powers at, where you should put your focus, what's going to give a return, what's going to give a balance, what's going to give a resolution to what you need in your life right now. And this could be with anything. It don't necessarily just have to be in relationships. This can be with pretty much anything that you got going on right now. Let's pull some more oracles for you to see if this one talks specifically about romance or like what's up for my air signs, my Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. What's going on? What's their energy? Contract more of that Libra, like hey Libras, how you doing? That law school type of energy, that justice, um, that legalities that's coming in, letting go of control issues, find that balance, you know, making sure that you're this eight of pentacles is, is that control issues of being super intense about something um, that, that you deem that you are working on, and then caring connection. So it definitely could have something to do with. Um, a caring connection that, you know, if you just let go of the control of trying to control the situation, that it'll end up balancing out on its own, uh, or you'll get like the, the, the clarification that you need is what I'm hearing. I wonder why is this contract here? Show me why contract is here. Show me why contract is here. So four of cups, a missed opportunity. It's in reverse. So it comes back around, especially with this death card representing Scorpio. So something either had to end for something to reveal, bring on to begin again, or there was a transformation in how you seen this cup that was offered or exactly what it was that was being offered. That's here. Um, and nine of cups. Honestly, I think for some of you guys, I feel like this is a situation of where you may have been dealing with somebody and you could have felt, you know, a little bit like, like this situation was not going to yield you the results that you were wanting from the situation. But you were trying to control it or push forward, you know, um, and do whatever it is that you had to do. But now it's like a, a revelation has came about to the situation that's letting you see what department to actually put this person in. And it may not be in the forever love type of situation, you know, the Ten of Pentacles. It could just be we will always be really, really great friends. We made really, really great friends, but not so much of lovers. So maybe, you know, in, in but I have another option or a choice or either another option or a choice end up coming in once you make that decision. See, why is let go of control issues? What control issues? What's this all about? So four of pentacles reverse, nine of pentacles, and then the hermit, which is the Virgo energy, a lot of earth energy. So if you're dealing with an earth sign, um, I feel like this is more so of you saying that. I also feel like someone needs to let go of the need or the desire to always be alone or to act like that they aren't people, people, um, people, persons or whatever. So. You want to control when people come around or not come around or something of the sort. And maybe that's what's like messing up the connection that's here. It's like wanting your cake and eat it too. Like letting go of wanting your cake and eat it too. Someone here definitely is like just skip the whole chapter on spiritual awakening and spiritual alignment with higher self. And it's like they're just more so like in their ego. They want what they want and they want it now. Um and they need for you to be available when they are available and or if they want to be lovey-dovey and act like, you know, for happy ever after this week or this month, you should roll with it. And if next month they want something different, you should understand that that's just how they are. Like they told you, like, you know, I'm a flighter. I'm a, I'm a hopeless romantic, but I'm a dreamer. I don't really do it, you know, for long periods of time, even though I may be telling myself that I want that. But I feel like that's differently than, than this group of people that's here because this people that's connected to um, this uh high priestess of water this knight of cups and stuff i feel like that they don't want to miss this opportunity with you like they're going to do what they need to do in order to make make it make it work 
So show us why caring connections is here. Ace of Pentacles in reverse, Judgment Day, and then Page of Swords. So, yeah, I feel like that there was a situation of where somebody at some point in time with this Ace of Pentacles thought that this was going to be a, um, a, a awesome, great beginning, you know, something that was going to yield you the Ten of Pentacles, something like long lasting. But then judgment came about and you got to really see the situation for what it is um, from what was actually blinded of you. And it was that said that door for you guys may be closed, that your focus should be more on being friends with each other than to trying to be in a relationship with each other because that relationship may not actually be the thing that actually works for you guys. Um, Co-parenting works better. And just coming to that understanding that, hey, you know, this is just not going to give me the results um, that I need. I'm going to take these. I normally don't take them when they jump and fly out, but I'm going to roll with these. So you are on my mind. Necessary changes is happening. Missing in action. And this is toxic shows up. So, you know, and this could be even with the caring connections, it could be a situation of where, um, somebody that somebody is, is going to um okay this is what i'm trying to say so i feel like someone is needing to where's that hermit card especially if you're dealing with a virgo someone needs to go in and make those necessary changes on their own it's nothing that you can really do this is something that they have to do on their own and that may be the reason why that they are currently missing in action even though you are on their mind and they're not reaching out to them it does seem like that they may be trying to get they shit together. They may that's why you feel like the door is like closed, but they're really like focusing on themselves, focusing on their connection with spirit, trying to evolve um, because they were toxic. They were the people that, you know, gaslighted you, tried to tell you one thing, um, but was showing you something different or whenever it came down to it, they would say things like, you know, I'm just not a relationship person or I don't know how to do be in love or something. But even though they've shown you that they do because they've shown you that hopeless romantic in, in them or whatever. So let's just look real quick. What would be if this is the if this is for those of for those of my air signs, if I can get it out that it resonates with this person is missing in action because they are spiritually evolving. What will be the outcome? Will this person return? Will they be in a relationship? What will be the outcome? Eight of Wands, so put it at the bottom. Okay, so Nine of Wands is in reverse, Five of Cups, Page of Pentacles, all in reverse, um, then the Strength, and then the Ten of Swords. So I feel like that the Ten of Swords is, um, with the having the, sh the Strength here, I feel like this is their strength to end in a cycle with them you know like this this toxic kind of each cycle this missed opportunities where they didn't fight for the connection between the two of you guys um they didn't fight for the connection between the two of you guys so i wish i was trying to look and see if i could get a little bit of a better um because i was trying to be hopeful and optimistic for you my my air signs but it does seem like that this is going to take a while if this is if this is part of the reading that you resonated with is that this person is doing their you know um healing on their own and they're missing the action because it was a really toxic person um i feel like that they'll come back to provide you some type of clarity but I just don't feel like it's going to be any time in the very, very near future. Things can always change because, of course, they are changing right now. But right at this present moment, I wouldn't say wait around on them because there is no real time of when they will evolve, when they will get to that point of that they are ready to actually connect with you. Uh, for those of you where that part of the story turns or, you know, turns the key in your brain to be like, ah. Yep, talking about me, right? So what last messages do we have for my uh, air signs? Just overall, what last messages do we have for them in regards to their love life? We have missing you, new chapter, and 
message. So for some of you guys, you definitely are going to get more of this energy over here where the person is missing you. You are on their mind. Um, they do send you a message about wanting to start perhaps a new chapter with you, whether or not that's just as friends, best friends, lovers, you know, a relationship. Will you marry me or something? But there is some type of new chapter that's getting ready to begin for you guys um, in some area or in all areas of your life. So I hope that that tinkle, tinkle, tinkle with you, you know what I'm saying? And if it does tinkle, hey, click that subscribe button, subscribe to my channel. If not, or if so, I'll still see you guys on the next reading.